Whatever it is that's happened to them, my mother and father, is it serious? Today I'm going to review Sapphire and Steel, Assignment 1. Sapphire and Steel have been assigned. Sapphire and Steel started in 1979 and lasted till 1982. They made six stories, however the stories don't have titles. It starred Joanna Lumley as Sapphire and David McCallan as Steel. And the show was originally going to be titled The Time Menders. It was created by Peter J. Hammond, who also wrote them all, apart from Story 5. The show returned in 2005 to 2008 as audio dramas, done by Big Finish. In the audio dramas, David Warner played Steel and Susanna Harker played Sapphire. In the TV show, the episodes lasted 25 minutes, and during the show, other characters helped Sapphire and Steel. Led appeared in Story 1, the last three episodes. Also, a character called Silver appeared in Story 3 and Story 6. The first story, also known as Assignment 1, is a six-parter broadcast in 1979. It was directed by Sean O'Riordan. J.P. Hammond wrote it and he also novelised the story for Star Books in 1979. Sapphire and Steel, Assignment 1, stars Joanna Lumley as Sapphire, David McCallan as Steel, Val Pringle as Led, Stephen O'Shea as Rob, Tamerson Bridge as Helen. So the plot of this one's really weird as usual. What bloody plot? Yeah, there is a plot for ones. It's about these two children and the wondering where the parents went. Where's Mum and Dad? So where are they? Mum and Dad? Gone. Gone? Gone where? I know where his bloody parents went. In a bloody hotel for a shag. Away from the two little fuckers. <laughs> no, they didn't, Bones. <laughs> so it's up to Sapphire and Steel to find out what happened to them. So Sapphire and Steel, it's a really weird show. Sapphire and Steel are time agents. Never really goes into detail exactly where they come from. And I think that's part of the charm. I like the mystery of the show. It doesn't explain everything. There is a corridor. And the corridor is time. It surrounds all things. And it passes through all things. Oh, you can't see it. Only sometimes. when it's dangerous. And most of all, it has a scary atmosphere to it. Like a lot of these old TV shows had during this time. So it's a six-parter, 25 minutes. A bit similar to the structure of Doctor Who. That's 25-minute episodes. And there's some great moments in this story. Even from episode one, it's good. I like the speech that Steele gives, explaining what the... What Sapphire and Steel do about these creatures that break into our universe. There are things, creatures if you like, from the very beginnings of time and the very end of time. And these creatures have access to the corridor. They're forever moving along it, searching, looking, trying to find a way in. Episode 2 is good as well. I, I like, um, you can hear like voices from behind a door. Because Sapphire and Steel have, have boarded the, the bedroom up. Put planks of wood in front of the door. But you can hear your voices from behind the door. I thought that was quite creepy. Rob! Rob! Episode 3 is brilliant. Sapphire gets transported inside this picture and she's in this room. There's a meat cleaver in view. And she's going on saying she can sense that something happened in this room. That a girl was killed. I thought that was really chilling. It's almost like a horror film. Great atmosphere. You're not in that room, Sapphire. It's very cold here. 
Something happened in this room once. That room? Something terrible. Now. Unfortunately, after a great start, first three episodes are brilliant. Episode four is when it starts to go downhill a bit. The character of Lead gets introduced in episode four. And I think it is unnecessary. It works best when it's just sapphire and steel. When they introduce another character, it's like too much. It spoils atmosphere. So it's a bit like two's company, three's a crowd. I think all the best stories in Sapphire and Steel's just when it's Sapphire and Steel. Although the character of Silver's fun. I still think the best story is the story two and four. That's when it's just them two. So like another agent, time agent, it kind of like ruins the structure somehow. However, episode five, there's, a f there's some good moments. You see Rob's father and he's kind of like not his real father. It's just an image of him. I thought that was really good. And you see his mother as well in episode 6. However, the ending's a bit weird. I couldn't quite understand it. Something to do with the very first brick that was laid to make the house. That's where these beings come from. So lead destroys the brick. Stops it. So it wasn't a very good um, ending. Poor explanation. However, the two leads are excellent. Joanna Lumley looks gorgeous in it. This was just after she was in the New Avengers. Oh, that Joanna Lumley was hot. No wonder David McCallan was called Bloody Stale. If I worked with her, I'd be called The Rock. <laughs> David McCallum's really good. I like how serious he is. And he said he, he understood all the stories. And because of that, his performance is good. If he didn't know what the hell was going on, he, he wouldn't be as genuine. But he said he did know. The character of Rob was good for a child actor. Although the character of Helen, she had a moment. Sometimes she was good and sometimes you, you could tell she, she was inexperienced. But that's the trouble with child actors. You, you can't guarantee a good performance. But they were both quite good. So what I liked about this story was episode 1 to 3, the first half. Thought there was great atmosphere in them first three episodes. Second half spoils it a little bit. And I thought the character of Led didn't work. Overall I thought it was good, not one of the best though. It's probably the weakest of the six stories that they did. And if it had continued how it started the first three episodes, I would have given this a 10 out of 10. But the, the last three episodes dropped the mark down a bit, so out of 10. I did like it though, I'd give it a 7. 7 out of 10. Did you think Bones would do like you? Yeah, I couldn't bloody understand the book I feel. More the bloody Tommy Rot. So the next one that they did, Story 2, that's brilliant. Massive improvement. So look out for that one sometime. Anyway, I'll see you next time. Like, subscribe and share. Bye. Bye. Look, this was my favourite last week. What do you think? Ding dong.